Hey everybody, Asbo here, and we are back at... Oh fuck, where am I? We're back at Bonnie's Ranch. Um, today, we are hopefully... We have a plan to get in the uh, Fort Mercer to get to Bill Williamson. I'm hoping that we are actually going to get in there today. Yes, that would be quite... Um, that would be quite a feature to get in there. So, here we go. Well, first of all, I've got, um, if I recall, if I look at the map, I've got a job out here. I've, oh, oh uh, American Appetite again has just come up for the third time. And there's an, another one, I believe, here. There's a job here as well that I want to get to and then yeah meet Seth at the um, chapel or by the Coots chapel and then first I'll see what Nigel want as well so if I start Bonnie uh, random at armadillo and then out here and then Nigel, and then down here, and then finish off with Seth. That should open up a load of more work for us. So let's see what Bonnie wants. Oh, she's at the barn. <clears throat> There's a nice barn. I might have to build something like that on um, Minecraft at some point. Come on, come on, let's go! Hey, Get him in there! Come on, come on! Hey, miss! Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Let's go. I don't care if you don't like it, Amos. We're going. Oh, Bonnie's coming out with us. That a way. <laughs> oh, let's slow it down. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Pastors who we are, Mr. McFarland. There ain't no change in that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. It's gonna be difficult to talk in this weather. Stay close. We don't want to lose each other. Well, shit. Whoa, where's she going? Ah, there we go. I think this is the first herd. Hang on, hang on. Come on. This one's out here on his own. Slow it up now. There we go. Right, we've got eleven out of eleven now. He's now joined the rest of the herd. Oh, another straggler, really? Hey, get back. Hey, come on. Go on. That's it. Slow down. 
Right, let's match her pace. Whoa, Bonnie, what are you doing coming across the front of me? Right, hopefully they've got the other herd. There you go. Oh no. Oh, we lost a quarter of them. Come on. Let's go. Well, Bonnie ain't going to be happy about losing six of them. Fourteen out of twenty one. So we lost seven. Oh, wait, you dipshit, get in the back, get back there now. Go on, Let's go. go on, get. Thank you. Fucking hell, still can't believe I lost seven of them. <laughs> That's a third of them gone. They're trying, I'll give them that. They are most certainly trying. Swimming in the same direction as Bonnie. There you go. Come on. Oh, I lost one. Where did that one go then? I just lost it. Oh no. Oh, okay. That was with me. There we go. They're in. We got them home. Well, most of them, anyways. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. We'll come back to Bonnie later. 
as I've already said. So, uh, armadillo next. Let's go. Fuck, wrong person. Oops. Hmm. Didn't actually mean to shoot that guy. He can keep his stuff. He was innocent. So anyway, there's someone here. Who's this guy? Oh, I've been waiting for you. Huh? Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl. Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember <laughs> me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. I wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Right. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed. What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. Go, John, go. Or are you not the man I thought you were? What are you waiting for? You know it could be like Trelawney. Kinda of looks like Trelawney. Yeah, that other guy I asked, I thought he was right, right, one of them trying to ride off. Right, so, oh, I keep pressing the wrong fucking button. So, these landing. I know you. Okay. Thieves landing after... this last stranger here he looks like Trelawney just without the um, fancy get up
Although he has featured and referenced in Red Dead 2 as well. I'll let them finish each other off. I'm nice to him like that. Oh, don't want to get bucked off the fucking horse again. Yeah, no, apparently, apparently I should know him. The only thing I could imagine would be a reference on how we would look is Trelawney. That's about it. Who is this? You okay, lady? Messing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> oh my <Yep>. god. <laughs> if he's gone, then what'll I do? We ain't got much money. And I'm in the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> hmm. So this is part three. Well, I believe I'm familiar with where they've been coming up missing. And where the blood's been. Here we are, the hanging rock. Approach the hanging rock and then sort of head off to the left, right here. And just like clockwork, we found it. just attacked me and broke my leg what he broke my leg some city fella guy got kind of creepy on me and then he got violent when just now uh, he ran off that way can't have gone too far if i find him i'll bring him back this way thank you mister <laughs> There we go. Why won't you people just leave me alone? You're all crazy. There you go, hog time. Please, I'll do anything. This is a nightmare. I don't think this guy is responsible somehow. Something tell me that this city slicker here is trying to run away. Well, old matey there with a stab wound in his leg or a shot in his leg is a bit crazy. Oh my good lord! 
Please get that man away from me. Uh, uh. Hey, fella. Uh, <laughs> you broke this oh, no. poor fool's oh, leg, mister. Uh, this maniac tried to eat me. We got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please. Please. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to do... Yeah, sorry about that, dude. Um, yeah. So he runs further into the hills. Great idea. Well, we've killed the guy. Now, on to our next job, which is over here. Water and ha honesty. Right. Let's check that out. Can I just run over a fucking crow? More shooting again. More fighting. This area just seems untamed. Still. The rest, all of the um, north, east, and north east, have all been tamed and civilized. Society. So, civilized society. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Love to, but you ain't got a question mark about you, so no. Hello. Let's go. Ooh. Almost twatted him. Didn't I come here earlier for an outlaw? Um, I came here last week for a fucking outlaw. What the hell do you want? Hmm, bit of a Howdy, friend. I didn't know him. anyone lived out here. Whoa. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200, I could give you the deed of this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Hmm. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Pay the deed. Take it or leave it. Do I have... Do I actually have $200? And you're... It's a bargain at twice the price. Down. 
down, friend! What have you got for me? Now, I didn't want it to go that way, but I simply just did not have the dollar. Zarf took it by force. Right, um... What the hell does Nigel want now? What does Nigel want to do with his fucking snake piss now? At least he ain't got to put up with the people at Blackwater either. It's sort of a win-win. Silver linings, you know. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull, feeding to the vultures myself. Ah, you see, Mr. Marston, you <laughs> have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, um, Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, mm. this being America, <clears throat> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <clears throat> is money. Money? <clears throat> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <clears throat> and... Because now he's going to help build it on. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> <laughs> no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come yeah, now he's being honest. Let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> now, sir, do that, do preach. Hmm. Seth is an interesting fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting. More deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. 
It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for life's flotsam and jetsam. The connection with him more like you and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people for one. Mind you, <laughs> at least he waits until they're dead. Ah, oh, my dear boy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. A Robin Hood with spurs. Oh, romantic. You expect me to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. There we go. Get to fridge. Are we there yet? Feels weird having someone drive me around actually. I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts. Anyway, John, we must talk about the race. Yes, the race. Oh, come on. Time to purge that negativity and start thinking like a winner. You're going to have a whale of a time. They've been holding these chariot races in New Austin for as long as I can remember. And we need the money. Why aren't you racing then? Me? Oh, no. Not my thing at all. You have already proved yourself more than adept at the reins, my dear boy, and under some stress. These races are Byzantine in their ferocity, and the terrain is treacherous. People will do just about anything to win. Men die. It's a marvelous spectator sport. Sounds like fun. And you are my wild card, John. They won't be expecting you. So what's your role in all this? Think of me as your spiritual guide. Do I have to? You are a free man, of course, but I strongly recommend it. Imagine, just for today, you are not an aging bounty hunter, and I am not an avant-garde business pioneer. No, sir. Today, we are gladiators. Motivation, dear boy. I'm God, not going that to get the hell out of here. <laughs> mm. Yep, absolutely. Right, we're back to game camera, so I think, am I starting to take over? Okay, so I'm taking this one at the back here. Drivers, all know the rules. Right, here we go. Go, 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 go! Oh, and what a launch from me! Straight down the middle in the first as we're heading down into turn one. 
Uh, first of eight drivers. Come on, We're heading down the long stretch. It's a turn two, a turn three now. A long right hand up about a 90 degree, the left hand on a turn four. It's straight into turn five as we're gradually a fucking drift in this thing. Turn six is a long straight left and times at the end. Alright, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> oh fuck, I better slow him down a little. Alright, through the S's. Here we go. Oh, oh that felt a bit rough. Right, go, go, go. Oh, oh. Three. Oh. Three right hand up. Oh, fuck, no. Killed the horse. Oh, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you kidding me, asshole? Where in the fucking ride? Oh. Nah, let's restart. I lost the advantage. <sighs> I was gonna say, well. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Right up onto the inside. A water launch from me yet again as we're heading through turn one. Downhill in the turn two, which is a sweeping right handle. Go, 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 go. A long right hand of turn three. Nicely done. In the turn four, which is the 90 degree right, left hand up, followed straight after by the right hand of turn five. Straight in the turn six again, Titans at the end. Oh, they can't get anywhere near me, they cannot even touch me. Right, got a bit of a straight. That's it. Now let the horse ease off a bit as we go through the S's, which finishes a bloody hairpin basically. Okay. Ooh. Now this is where I came off. I'm gonna take it nice and easy through here. Right. And now get straight back on the lanes again. Oh. Go go go. I was meant to have taken the long way round. You get out of the way, asshole. Alright, let's get him up from the inside there. Alright, let's save our horse a little unless we go through the long sweep and left hander. We're only in third place. We're catching second though. I'm not gonna have a look on the outs inside. No, I'm gonna have a look on the outside. But now it's the inside as we go through the S's. Wow, drift through there. Here we go, first is in our sights. Through another sweep and left hander. Let's speed this up a little. I'm going to get him. Oh, I'm going to have a look up on the inside in the next turn. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, he's mine. Back up the long stretch. Two more checkpoints remain as we race over the rail track. Couple of sweeping corners here. And I think I've won it. There's the finish line. Ah, nice looking finish line it is. Hell a race, victory. Mister. I'll take care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we beat a hasty retreat. Why? What aren't you telling me? Right. Best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Bye by me. Wasn't that oh. fantastic? The tears of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. The falling rocks, the homicidal maniac. Oh, come <laughs> on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest. It was either. exhilarating, I'll they give him that. The racing very 
very seriously in these parts. And your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sports, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> um... Why do I get the feeling we're about to be attacked or ambushed? Sir, well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, <laughs> you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name hmm. of Irish. Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. <laughs> Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? He's got some very um, interesting friends, I must say. Only three dollars from that? Okay. Let's see what's this about then. My God, sir, would you look at you? Huh? My, my, take a look at you. Will you take a look at you? You look like you've seen trouble, Mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, Mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold, tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like, like a dog whose bone <laughs> is made of wood. Excuse uh, me? What? Oh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my mom felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Jimmy Saint, <laughs> sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back east. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm gonna find, too. <laughs> Wild men, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. That's gonna get you killed. Well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> Funny man journal entry. Adam. Are you still here for any reason other than my bristling charisma? New weaponry is available at the gunsmith. Yeah. What are we doing still on bloody track, you idiot horse. Right, um, so. Now, um, next up. We'll leave Nigel for now. We'll go to West, Seth, and then Water and Honesty. We'll see Iris second to last. And then Thieves Landing, and then Bonnie. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Right, let's see what Seth's got cooking for us this time. Crazy old coot. Digging people up.
Oh, train up ahead. I do admit I steam trains, ocean liners I wouldn't so much as say cars until say I think Yeah, I'd say cars to a certain extent, like 30s and 40s they started coming into their own looking beautiful and that um, really did look a lot more beautiful than they do today and ocean liners aren't so much a thing anymore because you know it's all cruise ships but Trains as well. I mean, the beauty of their manufacturing and that, in compare, I mean, the trains today. Don't get me wrong; they're a technical marvel. They're more on FG efficient and safe for the environment, but they look fucking ugly. <laughs> they really do look ugly. It's yeah. It's like cars. The, today's Mustangs look okay, Camaros and that. Um, but the classic 60s and 50s and that look absolutely beautiful. Yeah, even older cars and those look beautiful as well. Yeah, that's that's my rant on tech. A lot of the tech today looks fucking beautiful, but in terms of um, looks nice, but in terms of say um, vehicles and means of transport, not so much. Right, let's see what Seth, what Seth doing. Oh my god, he's taken a whole... Hey John! Hey partner! I know I was going to say I was hoping that was too too common. Not quite! Not quite oh. ready! Oh! You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... Realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest spoke off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. Huh? I know. Not since man had died. Well, okay. What are you gonna do with those bodies? I need the map, partner. That was a motorbike. I need it. I think we should be getting out of here, partner. You're gonna make a bodysuit out of him. I am getting nothing but Ed Gein vibes from him now. <laughs> he is really. All right. I know a secluded spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. You're a weirdo, sir. You got. Me.
Fuck me. Yeah, I'm. Keep to the left. We don't want to roll through town with these bodies. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Besides from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth. Calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. Hmm. Oh my! Get them damn treasure hunters! Try and outrun them, partner! Um, Just drop the gun! It ain't worth it! Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. There's Sorry, some buddy. <laughs> Better than a poke in the eye. <laughs> all done with this one. And you just straight up gonna throw them all. Hey, this fellow's a little right. Then he's got something on him. Who's got a kiss for sad? Oh, fuck. Beat the train. Oh, uh, you. Come on now. Play nice, my lovely. This won't take long. Damn, nation! Woo! Shot. Somebody needs a new clone. Hurry up, Seth. Thanks, partner. Be seeing you very soon. Head left at this turn. Another one appeared there. Oh yeah, she gotta find anything worth it. Make a left. There's my man. Come on. Horses on fire. Yeah. So those goons are protecting it. Figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. Get a move on. I got fame for that. So I said I'll go and see this guy here, didn't I? That is where our ranch is, right there, just off Great Plains.
Right, let's go and see this guy and stop him from cheating on his wife or leaving his wife, whatever. Don't know. Can't remember. Hopefully Ed Gein will be ready and meet me at Fort Mercer later. I think I've been on getting that done. I'm going to give it a damn good go. We'll leave Irish here for now. Oh, I've got to see this guy. I sure hope you ain't empty handed. Here's the well, deeds. Howdy. You got the deed? Yep. Oh, bit bloody. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, there's blood on this deed, Marston. I didn't tell you to kill the poor old man. Here, take the money. That old bastard's got a son living up in Blackwater, so I'd be real careful not to publicize this sale too much. Unless killing entire families is a pleasure of yours, of course. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Yeah. <laughs> $15, I'm glad I didn't fucking buy it off him. Cheap skate. Any uh -huh. he, his sons are yeah, fucking city slick out of something. It'd kill him easily. If the time comes. Hey there. What the hell was that sound?
Oh, there's another question mark there. What's going on here then? Who's this guy? Don't tell me you're another weirdo. What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She always loved these, these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. You know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and it's hard for her to get up and about. So I, I want to... I want to bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. Well, I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. Sure, bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? Okay. Do I actually have a map for them, though? No, I do not. Sorry, old timer, you're on your own now. I'm not searching for nothing. I'm not searching a whole map. Fuck me, there's trees. There are trees here. Here we are, thieves landing. Do this, gonna do this right. Anytime, lady. You want me to untie ya? Would you like to be dropped, would you, sir? Why won't it let me drop you into the bloody water? John can't swim. John can't fucking swim. Oh, hi. Oh, let's get back there again. Let's go. Ah! Oh, shit. Ah, thieves landing again. I should have just put him on the back of the horse and laid his fat ass on the fucking rail tracks just to believe him to get arrest, uh, ran over. Yeah. 
We'll go back to Bonnie's in a bit. Oh, just gotta be careful here. This man, this gentleman must be the. Okay. Discourage him. <clears throat> Excuse me, mister. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Look, don't ask how, but I know what you're about to do. You don't want to do this. The hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. Shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but I guess I'm grateful. I guess you're right. I was raised better than this. Don't mention it. <laughs> Go on now. You know, that is... So he's saying that. That is very common for us males. We do. We do tend to follow our other head. Right, let's get back and see Bonnie. And see what job she's got us doing today around the ranch. And we'll see if we can grab some guns. I'm hoping to kill Bill tonight. That's what I want to do. He already knows that we're not... <clears throat> we're not going to leave. Here we are, McFarlane's Ranch. Whoa! I weren't expecting that. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Oh dear, Let's I hope he's out. okay. Have gotten far. Let's go. He was a decent character. I liked him. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry, we'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarlane. 
He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all <laughs> I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Look, I think I see someone. She's got a good head on her shoulders, I'll give her that. Daddy! What happened? There he is. That's nice. <laughs> Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. And you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marson, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Yeah! Yeah! Idiot! What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. <laughs> you never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're upset, Miss. Oh my god! The barn's on fire! No. Come on. Go, go, go. I've done this before. I'm getting a sense of deja vu here. Fucking hell, could Marston climb quick enough? Go, go, go! Fuck! Yeah! Oh, that was close. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, <laughs> he's got, he's so got a ranch to put out. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. 
Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bare enough. Fucking hell. Well, son of a bitch. Ooh, new weaponry. I'm doing all right with the guns that I've got for the moment. Right. Right, now, on to the next job. Uh, Marshall Johnson. We'll see Marshall Johnson last. Irish next. And then Seth. And then West Dickens. And then Marshall. Oh, hang on. Flowers for a lady. We'll do that one if we've got the time tonight. We're going to meet this Irish fellow for some guns. Now, I don't know what kind of um, job he's going to have for us, but Here we go. Oh, yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Here, yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's going to turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? <laughs> Fuck off, boy. This don't concerns you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. 
Look here. This paddy bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. So your mom was too busy putting blisters on. Just walk away. Don't worry about Bit late for that. better than Wales. A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. They're untrustworthy. Poor in personal hygiene. Oh, and a Gatling gun. Back in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'll be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent. Government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Oh, Bob. Can drop my controller on the Alrighty, my guardian angel, this way. Come on then, let's find this guy. I'm guessing we're going to steal it from someone else. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck, you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back. We did. Thick as thieves ever since. And that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who <laughs> steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Two bit slugs who think they're snakes. <laughs> mm. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chest. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Right. I want to put my gun away. Well, welcome here, mister. Move along. What the? Are they all fucking from the United Kingdom? Well, then I've got no problem in killing them. Down. Stay down. Don't, know. You gonna do? Don't ask me why I jumped. Seriously, do not ask me why I jumped. Die, you son of a bitch. First shot should have hit. Right. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. Time to murder someone else then.
I hope there's no little fucking snake getting shot. Let's go. Whoa, okay, he was hunting a wolf. Oh shit. So I made a desperate last stand there, didn't I? Where's that little slimy little prick? Ah, I see ya. Let's catch up to him before we go back to Seth. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. <laughs> We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? No, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. It gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. It makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? Yes. Let's do that. Yes. Come you on, owe me a we'll fucking gun. Gordon. Which way you going? Faithless Flora, 
the lily of the west. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right, Miss Raid. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between pear and medley. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It's words like that at all, feller. Me intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not far now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always spiky bastards. Spend too long without daylight and boxes and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. <laughs> stop, damn it. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. Damn. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. Because I will fucking murder ya. You. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Intruder! Take up! I'm getting the hang of it! Don't make me kill you! Alright, let's go. Boom. I see a peeking. Boom. I think we're in. Come on. Oh. This is not good. Um, which way now? Come on. Take out the TNT before I get there. Ah, this way. Come on, this way. Ooh, nasty finisher. Too close. 
Thank you. Down this way. What the hell? Still, so I can. Try to give him an easier way out. He got fucked up. Where is he? Oh, well, got him. Fucking bitch. Right. Wait here for healing. Ooh. this way I can safely say there ain't any many ahead of me just before they decided to take a shot at that barrel Hold it. All right, let's go. Friends are dead. Holy shit, there is a Gatling gun, all right. Okay. Oh, we're taking a long way, are we? Okay. Shit. 
thought I'd be looking at your carps being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. There you go, Irish. Get it up. She is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. There we go. Yeah. Just use the gun. Whee. Oh fuck. <laughs> Oh fuck, this is fun. This is real fun. What did I tell you? It's a cake. That was quite Let's fun. Go. A short wee ride now and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Good. Make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. Uh, funny man. A funny man up the hill. Okay, let's go and see funny man. Horse, get back. Don't. Stop. Thank you. Alright. Get me up to this supposed funny man, yeah? Oh fuck! Ow! Let's go. So supposed funny man's up here. Oh, he's down. Is he actually in the mine then? Come on. Easy. I reckon he's actually in the mine. Then you get horse. Go on. Right, let's see if I can get to him. This way. There you go. Huh? Get these ropes off me! 
How'd you end up down here? Jimmy, <laughs> I didn't know you were a miner. I'm not, sport. This is the first time that I've ever been underground. But I like getting a preview of being buried. It should be fun, but not funny, what? Your eastern wit is wasted on my dumb western brain, sport. Oh, don't worry, you're not missing much. I'm beginning to think that this article will be better written on a tropical island in the arms of a beautiful maiden. Interesting Sounds idea. good. Now, can we get out of here? Yes, please. Go on, don't worry about me. My apparent ineptitude is just a comedic affectation. Mm hmm. I <laughs> can't wait to see what you write about this. more adventure and hijinks to procure. Are you still here for any reason Let's other go. than my bristling charisma? Right, I wanna go and meet up with Seth next. Old Ed Gein himself, as I like to call him. And then, yep. Yeah. I wish it's all the way over fucking here. What the hell? Got himself all the way to these landing. Let's go see what old Ed Gein's up to. Or Ed Gein's great grandfather. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth oh, today? God. Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa, oh whoa. my God, he just did that. That's quite a stink. Hey, Seth. Oh, oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? Uh, how you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where are you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> Okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Big ab abandoned house. Yeah, what's the deal with that place, huh? This whole town's abandoned. This had some kind of... I think it had, um... Whoa, what the hell? Did you see these fellers? Dubious as they looked, I figured they must be with you.
that used to be the marshals. Shit. This whole place has been abandoned. What are you retreating for? Oh, they're even inside. window up there oh fucking shots I've actually seen this mansion in all its form of glory as well There we go. Please, before they find it. Here we go. Come on, Seth. Damn, you shot me. Go, go, go. Come on, buddy. Side of this room. Oh, hi. Blow their damn brains out. Come on, fellas. At least try to shoot straight. I had it with you, bastard. I did all the work. Me. After all these years, <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> There's nothing in there. The goddamn hell is this? <laughs> A glass eye. Huh? I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> <laughs> Help me with Williamson's gang. 
And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. <laughs> sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. He ain't gonna last long in that fight. Look at him. Crazy old fool. But hey, all that for a glass eye. Who knew? I knew there was. I knew there weren't gonna be real fucking treasure in it. That was damn obvious. Too damn obvious. Right, let's go and get Irish. Make sure he's gonna be where we need him to be. Fort Mercer is there. So let's go. Let's go across to Irish. Bastard. Let's go get him. Let's go and fucking get these assholes. Come on, girl. Follow. There we go. She's following. She decided to give the wagon back, miss. Whoa! After my horse decides to knock it over. Right, let's get back on the road, yeah? Go a bit more fame or more honour.
go. Those guys are actually harmless. They look like fools and they act like fools shooting all their ammo up in the air, but they they don't stop and harass anyone or attack anyone, so they're good. They're all right. It's just a bunch of numpties. They ain't doing no one wrong. Whoa! I think I actually clashed with the um, Xbox stream. No, well, I don't know what their plans are. I don't really care about their plans, to be honest. Don't get me wrong, Windows are great at software. I mean, the majority of our PCs and my laptop and my tower are all Microsoft. Yeah, they come with the Xbox app, but I kind of deleted that because I don't want it. What's the point in going for something? as pointless as Xbox when I could get practically all of the same games on Steam and more, a lot more especially for my RTS's my real time strategies oh fantastic I ain't gonna kill him Can I put you on the back of my horse? Yeah, put Vic the on horse. <sighs> Come on then, buddy. There, justice has been dealt. Have fun. Get on what the fuck are you doing up there? Yeah. All right. Where's his horse? There. <gasps> no. Oh, fuck me! I did not want to shoot it. Alright, come on. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you. <laughs> oh my fucking god. There you go, buddy. No problem, just uh, ignore the bullet hole. Jesus fucking Christ. What do you mean I failed to return the horse? I returned the horse. Oh. Do do do. Whoa. 
Right, let's go and find Irish anyways. What's the odds of him getting drunk? Excuse me, Get out of the fucking way, asshole. <laughs> I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there! <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston. How are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. Damn. What the hell's wrong with you robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. What? Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. <laughs> so, uh, please excuse us. <laughs> now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> right. Ah, come on. Well, another concussion. I know where we can find a, a parts for you. Ah, mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, Mister? I already got myself a woman, Miss. Huh? What you looking at? What you looking at? Huh? <laughs> I can't stand to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my prick's in fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like yeah. that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the, the church has off. more money than anybody. Your brain gone bust. Where are we going, Irish? Just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobble-tongued feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. Yeah, Irish. This is it. Get on Come with on, it. Smiler. Certainly fucking belongs here. Well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. I'm beginning to lose my patience. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Mm-hmm. Everyone seems to be wasting my time here, so... Glass eye. Fucking hell. Keep your eyes Still can't get over that. Right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. 
Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Sounds like Shake has only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> oh! Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an all-time high. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again! <laughs> All right, work your usual magic. I'll go get the wagon ready. Ah, up here. I'm hoping he's the only one here. Nice. Thank you, I thought, th 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 thank you for your kindness, Mr. Smith, Mr. I thought th 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 I was a dead man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. Hmm. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. Let's head before the door. Follow me. Who the fuck did you piss off? Guy seems quite cool. Which crates?
Yeah. Who you got then, Shaky? Quick! Yeah. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you d d d dirty f f f f f fucking snake. Uh, b b b b All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Go. Come on, then, Johnny boy. Let's go. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the drama. <coughs> you always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's going to take the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just mm -hmm. the glory like you. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Shit, coming after us. Shoot us faster. I'm going to hit from the back. One of them just took themselves out. You know you're going to die, right? Hey, there he goes. I don't like this, Maxton. He heart beating like a bloody drone. Just drive, Irish. You're acting like a schoolgirl. I'm telling you, Irish, that machine gun had better work after all this. Don't you worry. You won't find a finer piece of artillery west of Dublin. Hell of a team, me and you. We should consider making this a more permanent partnership. Look out, there's one on the bridge up ahead. There was. But. <laughs> First guy had a rough landing. Oh. They're not giving up, are they? Poor fucker. Shot his horse by accident. Well, I think you're ready for part, Master. You got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. How useful you've been, you won't be stealing shit. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Whoa. Okay, um... Well, our funny man's back again. So we'll go and see him. Uh, Jimmy. And then we'll go and see the marshal. Oh god no, he hasn't got himself caught here. Yeah. Fuck's sake.
Watch out. Looks like it. We got ourselves sieged. Thanks, sport. You are a true American hero. Right. What are you doing down here? Well, I just thought I'd see a, a little bit of the local color, you know. But these gentlemen have seen to it that I've enjoyed the true hospitality of the frontier. Hey, uh, cigar? Let's get out of here. Right. <laughs> Funny man, let's get him out of here. This way. Well, it looks like I took out half of them for you. We weren't expecting to do this. coming through here. Good 
believe I found old matey's cattle. Whoa. I do better than that, mate. Can't thank you enough, partner. Glad to see there's some good folk left around here. Great, that one. Mm. All right. Now, let's go and see the marshal. Let's go. Whoa there. Ooh. There we go. Right, let's see what we can do about the marshal. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Huh? Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get out from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. 
Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. <laughs> Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Ah, uh, let's go and get Bonnie. That's true. You know that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. Why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East? I hope to have them spoiled her yet. I ain't had my turn. The boys will be getting that smoking, I think.
<laughs> he asked for that. Alright, here we go. Easy, John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Good. Marston, Good boy. Come Make on. Sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a four to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She been fucked so good. Come on now, boys. Cut me loose. <laughs> Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Got it. Let's go for something a bit more range, yeah? Come on! Another one down! Screaming, yeah, bitch. Bonnie, we're coming. Fuck. Yeah, you better run. Get out of the way. Buddy, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell took you so long? Stupid man. <laughs> well, you weren't exactly helping me. <laughs> if you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <laughs> <coughs> 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 all right, they'll get her home. Let's have a look here then. Right, um All right. Let's go see Nigel. Get on the damn horse. Right. Let's go and see Nigel. I'm hoping that he ain't got no fucking half-witted task to do and that we're gonna go straight in and attack
Oh, run a dog over. Or a wolf. More gunshots. Repentance rock. Here he is. Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. It, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? Ha <laughs> ha you read my mind. I can only deduce hmm. you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something. Which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act. For you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, Allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> oh, my God. Gentlemen, gather round, gather round. My friends, are you ready to change your lives forever? I have something truly extraordinary to show you today. A medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of scientific research. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache. Uh -oh. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Um. Oh, fuck. Get. Like we've been scuppered. Let's get out of here. I'll ride. You ride shotgun. Come on. Mind out. I'll show him respect science. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey. Oh, it's his hat. Don't worry. Boom. Oh shit, sorry about your horse, dude. Get down. I hope you got a spare hat, mate. Have we got coming? Sure is what you get along with. 
Boom. Boom. Thanks, bud. Oh yeah, so they have. Right, come on in. Nice try, lads. people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good job. You're just about dead. Oh, another one? Really? Any more of them? Oh, up in front. Oh, damn. Down to 12 shots left. 11 shots. Last mag. Oh fuck, he survived. He did survive. I'm back in tumbleweed. Took you long enough. Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. <sighs> it always impresses me with the speed which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. <laughs> Perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <sighs> for fuck's sake, get your hat back. New weaponry available. I'm gonna have to have a look next week. Definitely. I reckon we'll head back. Head back to um, McFarlane's ranch. And I don't think we'll be seeing how Bonnie is today. Let's go. We'll probably be next week. We might see something of her. Let's go. 
Hey asshole! He's riding through. Oh fuck, that was my bad. Alright. Come on. Oh shit, that was close. Whoops. Alright, so it looks like next week we will be taking Bill Williamson down. Should be, anyways. If that's the case, I'm looking forward to that. Hmm. Herbert Moon again. Been robbed! Big deal. If you expect me to know who you are, don't expect me to help you out if you get robbed. Hey Herbert. Yeah. Almost back there. Eh, he's a dead man. Let's go.
Ah, oh, there we are. I'm sorry. I'm... Anyway, I'm going to call it here for this week. It's been an eventful one, I must admit. Got quite a lot done again. Although, it probably seems like little at the moment. But we're close to getting Bill. And then, see who else is on the shit list. But anyways, like I said, that will do for this week. It's now 11 o'clock my time, so I'm going to be fixing to go to bed. Maybe do a bit of recording first. But, um, yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a follow um, for more content. At the moment, I'm only streaming here once a week. Um, I'm trying to get something else on the go. But in the meantime, I am currently streaming Cyberpunk 2077 also on my YouTube channel because I started it on there. So I'm going to see that through there to the end instead of just changing way too many things at once and over complicating everything. I think I'd rather just finish that off there um i'm currently going through the phantom liberty dlc which i'm streaming at the same time as what i stream tonight <clears throat> which is um eight o'clock eight p.m my local time uh midday pacific midday pacific time um Two o'clock uh, central and three o'clock eastern. There you go. I got it. I remembered. Um, but yeah, I'm also um, I also upload on YouTube too. I'm uploading South Park: The Stick of Truth, which I've got a video coming up tomorrow, <clears throat> and I also have a video coming out Sunday, which is Dying Light. Which I'm going through the following DLC at the moment too. And that is on my main channel, Asbo Gaming, on YouTube. So feel free to head over there. Um, hit the subscribe. Check out some of my other stuff. I, I do horror, horror games as well. I want to do a bit more on the horror as well. Uh, even looking to stream in some of it. To also do a lot with my best mate Snakes here. Who rarely streams. But he can only stream because of all he has time for. But anyways. Hope to catch you over there too. Hope you all enjoyed. And I hope to catch you in the next one.